Hey there, Joseph Libert here, and I'm going to be doing a quick robot explanation of my robot in three days. How it works, what the general design is, and how you might build something like it. So, let's get into it. This robot has a couple parts to it. We have our intake right here. It all spins together like this. Then we've got our uh, uh, top roller up here. And this one just spins all by itself on its own motor. This can very easily be a 5.5 watt motor. I'm in VEXU, so I can use as many motors as I want, but uh, for high school, you could totally just use a half motor right there. And same goes for this roller right here. You could also use a half motor right here. This motor is interesting. I've gotten a few questions about this. It's actually linked with chain right here to this color sorting roller right here. And uh, if you haven't seen that, go check out my color sorting video linked uh, in the description. So uh, these two are linked together, so they spin together, which is fine because um, how this works is, uh, well, let me show you. Um, when you want to pick up a ball, uh, you can just turn on the intake and it goes up top. And if you pick up the wrong color, you can sort it out. It'll sort it out into this bottom area. It can hold like 20-ish down there. I have no clue how many is cool to hold down there, how many is going to be ideal, but 20 seems cool. Um, but yeah, so that's how it uh, gets them up top, how it gets them down low. And once you have some of them up here um, and you want to score them, this this part's actually really cool. I really like this part um, because if you come over here to the long goals, um, uh, oh, real quick, actually, we've got this little triangle back here, which is really cool because it aligns us into this uh, this thing down here. And so if we're off a little bit, it'll help line us up. It'll both get us the right distance away, uh, forward, backward. It will also get us horizontally left to right uh, the correct uh, distance away. Um, so make sure you're in the right position. You can even score at an angle if you want, but you just click run and it scores in there. Um, if you wanted to, like I was saying before, you could even score at an angle or something like that. It works just fine. This little top piece up here really keeps the balls in the goal because there's a little bit of open space here. They can jump out if uh, you don't have a piece like this. So that part is pretty important. Um, in here, it can hold like seven or eight pretty reasonably. Uh, maybe you should hold more, but it's not it's not a huge deal right now for me. Um, but I'm not sure. We'll see at Mall of America what that brings. This part out front is actually really cool. A little wheel mech, whatever you want to call it. Basically, the whole idea behind this is it goes down and oh here, let me push the button there we go it goes down and you can uh run into these right there and if you turn it in, boom you've just picked up a whole uh stack of them from the the long uh holder things and uh it sorted them nicely the red ones down below the blue ones up top obviously if you're the other color uh, if you read a lines, you could put the red ones up top. Um, but yeah, and then you can go over to the goal um, and real quick um, score those in. So that's how that works. Um, now, uh, coming over here uh, to the middle goals, uh, this it can also score in here. This is the part I really like. This roller right here is the secret to that. So if we've got a couple of them in the top of our robot here, we can score them in this middle goal by well for the long goal what's happening is it's spinning this roller this way and so the the uh the blocks are going in like this and then spinning this bottom mesh roller this way so that way they can come out the top um and that's how you score in the long goals um over there but for these middle goal or this uh middle goal how it works is it spins this one this way like it did before but it spins this mesh one the other way it'll spin it down and what that's going to do when you spin them both at the same time it's going to put it down here and kind of funnel it down through there so just like that um and i can show you again just like that and so it, it can it can do a bunch of them like that but that's kind of uh how that works it just puts them down low like that um and can fill up this one really nicely um as for this bottom one uh you just um kind of uh you this one stop it and then you can just uh outtake it into the goal and it, there's no magic here it's just like it goes in um just like you would think that that's kind of how this robot can score in uh, all the goals um and yeah uh, that's kind of the just behind this robot how it works um if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer. Um, this robot was a little bit front heavy, so I put some uh, anti-tips down here. If your robot is tippy, uh, these little gears work great for anti-tips. Um, now, uh, if I, it's, 
not super tippy, not gonna tip over. It's, it could be less tippy. Um, this robot is not in size, it's a little bit big, but it could be rebuilt smaller and that's my next project. Um, right now, it can't really park in the parking zone very well, but you could put little ramps on and just put a little rampies right here um, and it could totally fit in there pretty good. So that's what you need to know about my robot in three days. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and good luck in Vex Pushback.